Something about Samsung's timing feels almost poetic. Just when users think One UI 8 has peaked, the company quietly starts shaping something far more refined. One UI 8.5 isn't just an update. It's Samsung's way of saying, we're not done yet, the leaks, the design tweaks, and the AI integrations to everything points toward a version that feels smoother, smarter, and surprisingly personal. Hey everyone, welcome back, James here. If you're loving these deep dives into Samsung's latest moves, make sure to like the video, share it with your tech-loving friends, and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Now, let's talk about why One UI 8.5 has suddenly become the most anticipated update of the year. Testing has reportedly reached its final stages, with alpha builds already spotted on the Galaxy S23, S24, and S25 series. Insiders suggest the beta program could go live as early as late November, and if that happens, we might see the stable rollout aligning perfectly with the Galaxy S26 launch. But here's the twist, this update feels bigger than a mid-cycle patch. It's packed with changes that touch almost every corner of the interface. The first thing you'll notice is the redesigned search bar. Gone is the old rectangular strip, it's now a sleek capsule-shaped toggle that expands when tapped and gently folds back when you close it. It's such a small detail, but the animation is buttery smooth and gives off that premium OS vibe instantly. Then there's Navstar inside good luck, and this one genuinely feels game-changing. Samsung's adding to tiny on-screen volume buttons directly into the navigation bar perfect. For those moments when you're using one hand on massive phones, like the S20 for Ultra, no need to reach for physical buttons or swipe down the quick panel anymore. It's one of those updates you didn't know you needed until you try it. Now, here's where things get visually stunning animated wallpapers. Not just motion effects, but actual live, looping animations that move as you unlock your device. It's almost like your screen is breathing, with every animation feeling more fluid and alive than before. Samsung has clearly gone all in on aesthetics this time. Dot, and if you thought that was it, wait for this. AI notifications. Long press on any notification, and you'll now see two new options Summarize and Prioritize. Summarize uses Samsung's AI engine to instantly generate a short digest of your message, while Prioritize pins important alerts to the top of your notification list. It's like having your own smart assistant managing the chaos for you. One more cool tweak a long-standing issue with mobile data toggling is finally gone. Remember how tapping the internet toggle could occasionally crash or restart your phone? That's been fixed. And yes, Samsung brought back the double confirmation prompt for turning on mobile data, something we last saw back in the Android 5 and 6 era. A tiny callback for longtime Android fans. Another neat touch comes to screen recording. Now, you'll see a clean, redesigned confirmation pop-up before you start recording no more accidental captures or messy countdowns. It's simple, but the polish stands out. But the most eye-catching update? The lock screen. Samsung has added a brand new weather option alongside the usual gallery, frames, and effects. It lets you apply real-time weather effects right to your lock screen raindrops that ripple, snow that gently falls, or sunshine that flares across your wallpaper. It's mesmerizing and honestly, it gives the entire phone this dynamic, almost cinematic feel every time you wake it up. Don't all these details small yet meaningful make One UI 8.5 feel like a complete evolution. The interface flows more naturally, animations are crisper, and Samsung's visual design finally feels unified across apps and settings. And if we're lucky, even more features could quietly appear in upcoming builds before the stable release hits dot. So the big question is, will this be Samsung's best One UI yet? Personally, it feels like the most balanced one combining the smoothness of One UI 8 with the polish and brains of something much bigger. All right, friends. That wraps up this breakdown of One UI 8.5 and everything we know so far. Tell me in the comments which new feature impressed you most and if you've spotted any hidden changes in the beta builds. Share them below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the deep dive and of course, subscribe for more upcoming updates, leaks, and hands-on coverage. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.